So you've been looking at Bozeman, Montana, you're thinking about moving here. Well, we've collected 10 things that you absolutely must know before you move to Bozeman, Montana. If you wanna know those 10 things, stay tuned. What's up everybody, my name is Jackson Wilkie. Michael Green. That's right, and in this channel, we do everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, play, right here in Bozeman, Montana. If it's your first time to this channel and you wanna learn all that information, make sure you tap the subscribe button and you click that little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. We're getting calls, emails, texts from people moving and relocating here every single day and we absolutely love it. So, if you're thinking about moving anywhere in Bozeman, Montana, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, Days, nights, weekends, we got your back when moving to Bozeman. So we wrote down 10 things that may shock you, you may have never even thought of, and you know, him moving from, from Florida to here, he's going to be able to you know tell you what the biggest shocking things were or, or things that he just had no idea. So it's really gonna help you resonate. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, the number one thing at the end is what you're gonna wanna stay tuned till. So um, I'm gonna jump things off first and foremost, and that is uh, a snow day. What is that? It could be, you know, just full out blizzard 10 12 15 inches of snow each day and they're probably not going to cancel school work or anything so yeah. there aren't really snow days here and i remember going to school um you know all all the snow i've i've trick-or-treated in snow and if you're driving the speed limit during uh, a, a snowy day you're probably still going to get passed by someone going five miles an hour the speed limit so we don't have, you know, as I've gone to other areas in the United States, you know, if, if a little bit of snow hit Florida, I right. mean, it'd be shut down forever. So here, oh, yeah. snow plows are out, everybody's got their equipment. You're not really gonna see many snow days unless it's, um, ice storms are usually the worst. If it gets, you know, if it heats up a little bit and then freezes, that's when it just turns black ice, it's terrible. Um, there might be late starts and every once in a while they will cancel school, but yeah, for the most part, you're not gonna see snow days here. So number nine on the list, is there more snow in certain areas? Absolutely. So, you know, the thing about it is um, if you're looking at Bozeman, if you're new, if you're from Florida or you're from a southern area, you might want to choose an area that has less snow than others uh, because the locals will tell you that in certain areas they don't plow the road. So you'll run into areas where there's tons of snow. And one of the areas back over here to our left is the Highlight Canyon area. Actually, right here where we're at, yep. they'll see snow in this area when other parts of Bozeman will not see snow. And so the thing is that I recommend that you just sort of look into that, like where I used to live over here and there was snow, you know, big time snow all the time <laughs> over here in highlight. And you got to watch for, Catch you, you know, guard a little bit. Oh, absolutely. You definitely <laughs> would not expect, but and now I live over towards the Western area. And you know, the other day there was snow everywhere, snow in the cars and we didn't even know it snowed. And it's September, by the way. Yeah, 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 it's just September. So we didn't even know it snowed. So the thing is that, um, you know, check into that. There's definitely more snow towards the Highlight Canyon area because, you know, we're in a valley mm -hmm. and all the, there's like a, there's like a snow belt that right. goes through that canyon area. So if you like snow, you want a lot of snow, then definitely try to stay near the Highlight Canyon area. Yeah, and so that's one thing, you know, growing up Northwest and in, in, in these Montana, Idaho areas, you're gonna have snow belts, we call them. So it can snow seven inches in town and you might get 17 in these areas. So right. the other thing to know is north facing and south facing. So obviously we are south facing that way. The sun's going to continuously uh, go on this axis. So these mountain ranges and everything to the south, they will burn off their snow earlier. That's where a lot of the elk you know, are going to winter, the deer are going to winter, so you'll see less snow. The north facing, uh, that's gonna get shade and shadows a lot more. So that's what he's talking about over here. So. Um, that's that's again. We just don't want you to get caught off guard and think every place is the exact same There's some differences and number eight is going to be the wildlife. You're going to see it all here um, from bears You know, obviously elk deer. Hey, we are just into the north an hour 30 hour 45 from uh, West Yellowstone So we have incredible world-renowned hunting here. Um, you definitely want to look into bylaws There's a lot of you know for locals and, and for state uh, people who are Montana State residents you know, you can buy over-the-counter tags, but there is incredible elk hunting, incredible deer hunting in anywhere you go around here. Legendary. So, legendary, yep. and, and you're gonna see, um, you will see bears. There's grizzlies here and a lot of black bears. So I've encountered black bears everywhere. They're gonna run away from you unless you get in between you know, the sow and the, the cubs, but for the most part, they're all gonna run away. Uh, the grizzlies are a little bit more rare until you head you know, more Yellowstone or, or deeper into the woods, but there's so many trails around here and stuff. You're gonna see a lot of elk, deer and stuff, but 
it's not really as bad as you would say, but maybe keep a, a can of bear spray on you. Always keep Always. a can of bear yeah. spray. <laughs> I mean, that's just kind of something uh, you'll see around here. So why don't you jump into number seven about the dogs. So, well, let me mention about the wildlife. Oh yeah, let's So, do it. you know, the thing is there's no zoo in Bozeman, okay? <laughs> and the reason is you are gonna see animals everywhere. My wife is an animal nut and she loves this place. Yeah. I mean, you see animals all over the place. You can go to Yellowstone, see the bison. Yep. Uh, you're always going to see deer, uh, of course, elk, you know, mm -hmm. there's there's moose. I mean, you're, you're really in uh, a living zoo here. I mean, there's just animals everywhere, all different styles. So you're, you're going to have a great time. If you like to see wildlife, uh, you will not have to pay for the zoo or stand in line to uh, look at the monkeys, you know, in the heat. Uh, and I, I will, uh, don't be caught off guard. You know, I'm an avid hunter myself. Um, don't be caught off guard. Right now it's September, it's the middle of archery season. This is when the elk are in rut. So you'll see them around a little more, but you're also gonna see maybe some of them harvested in the back of pickups a lot of times. So don't be alarmed if you see, uh, you know, harvested animals in the back of pickups. Right? So yeah. anyways, jump on down to number seven, the dog city. So, you know, the thing about dogs is, um, this is a very, very friendly dog area, yeah. except if you're a renter. So if you, uh, homeowners, um, if you have a, if you own a dog, it's great. Uh, if you're looking to maybe try out the area and rent a property first, if you have a pet, uh, I'd maybe think twice Did about that. Did it happen that. to you? Yeah, we had a little dog um, when we moved here and we looked for a rental, it's extremely hard. Mm -hmm. You'll see on all the listings, no pets, exclamation points, under any circumstances, you know, they'll go to the extreme saying, don't call, don't ask, you know, so it's, it's really yeah. a big deal. Um, but I will tell you on the other flip side of that, People are so pro dog, yep. pro friendly. There's, you know, off leash uh, where I came from. If, if your dog was off leash, they're going to arrest you. You know, <laughs> you're going to get a citation yeah. or a ticket. You're going to get people curse at you. And it's funny you know, to hear that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. To it's me, huge. It's just, yeah. Uh, but here, you know, the thing is, off leash is, is really a big deal. They've got off leash parks. You'll go hiking. You'll see some of the most beautiful dogs you've ever seen um, hiking with their yep. owners with no leash. And so, you know, it's, it's definitely dog friendly, um, but you'll want to buy and, and if you're going to bring your dog. And, and the whole off leash things means more towards the city. Like there's a bunch of parks that are off leash, but the majority of the time, I mean, and labs are what, you know, most people have here, you know, all the hiking and all the trails and stuff, you're going to see a lot of them off the leash, you know, and they're very well mannered. So this is like one of the top dog cities. There's incredible vets here and you'll see dogs in some of the breweries and some of the restaurant shops, you know, so parks everywhere it's grocery store grocery store it's it, they're just everywhere yeah. um i'll jump into number six and that's don't believe the weather channel so right. this place can change like that it is september um, a storm blew through just two days ago snow was in the valleys here um, snow from utah to colorado to montana you know idaho's it really hit i've seen it as early as september obviously you know sometimes we're elk hunting it's 80 90 degrees sometimes we're elk hunting and the snow hits us um, sometimes winter is done by February and we're out golfing. Sometimes we can't get onto the golf course till June because the snow is still there. So I've seen it go six, seven months and I've also seen it go two months. So it really can depend, but it is, um, it's, it's kind of like this morning. You yeah. start with the heater on, it's 28 degrees. It's now about 65, 70, and it's probably going to get up yeah, to the Yeah, the sun's baking my back right now. And, so, you know, and it was it's like 30 degrees in yeah. the morning. You know? That's very so. typical. I mean, it's kind of a joke that Jeff Foxworthy and these guys always talk about. If you can run your AC, heater, and AC, you know, two times in one day, you might be from Montana. So Yeah, so you definitely don't want to believe the Weather Channel because it will change. It, it's just yeah. a guide. Um, you know, the, the, system, the storm systems, they don't move slowly like other parts of the country. Of course, you know, you got to look at, you know, to get an idea, but just know that it, it could snow any day. Yep. It could be, you yeah. know, um, radically different from day to day. It actually brings me up to like a lot of um, floating, you know, fly fishing when we're floating the rivers or, or hunting. And, you know, these mountain ranges around us are huge and you can't see these systems and all of a sudden they just pop right up and over yeah. and you're, you're in it. So the microbursts. I've had to literally like row to the side of a river and just anchor up because it was sunny like this and then all of a sudden it rolls over the mountains. So it or can a cloud. <laughs> Yeah, or a cloud comes from nowhere yeah. and then you're the only one being rained on or right. snowed on. I mean, it's, the weather here it's can interesting. be, be uh, a little bit different. So with that being said, first and foremost, if you're loving these videos, will you please uh, smash that like button? It really helps our videos. And comment down below any of the questions you have. We're always monitoring those. Uh, we'll make sure to answer them. So once you jump into five, one of the things that really caught you off guard with um, the different styles of living. 
So, you know, there really are a lot of different styles of living. You know, there's condo city living down by the Main Street area. Yep. You've got uh, ranch living. You've got log cabin living. If you were to take all of California and just, you know, compress good, yeah. it into a very small 50,000 uh, person, uh, you know, yeah, town. town, that would be what you're looking at here. And usually you see the variety of housing in such a, a in a much larger area. But I mean, we can drive just a few minutes and we're in a log cabin in the middle of nowhere. Yep. And then you go a few minutes this way and you're on a hundred acres on a luxury, you know, a, a new lodge. Yep. And then you're right over here and you're in, you know, a contemporary modern condo that you can walk out in the main streets there. And of course you've got your, your traditional suburban neighborhoods, which are not like that far from downtown. You're talking 10 or 15 minutes. The suburbs here are very, very close in. And so then you've got your, your traditional newer style homes you see on the, you know, the, the home shows and the home yeah. networks and that kind of thing. But I will tell you the interesting thing is that everything done here is done with a little bit more flair than you see elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So you'll, you'll, you just don't see the, you know, the, the stock homes yep. that you see elsewhere. Um, everything is done with sort of this Montana flavor, this, you know, this, this really, this pride, this Montana pride, uh, everything from, you know, your modern to your ranches, to your log cabins. That's a good point. The construction here is just a, a much higher quality. Yeah. And that's just because we don't have the, the growth where you're having these giant, giant, uh, spec home developments. So here, um, it is something I remember like early 2000s was the mountain log home style everybody had like their wooden bears in the house yeah. and now it's really starting to transition into this more modern open so just the, the subdivisions that are just three four minutes it seems like we would be you know an hour from them but the, you can almost see them right there the new developments those are going to be super modern custom big white nine foot ceilings custom appliances you have um, glass garage doors glass front doors and yeah you're going to see more like custom home builds even in the suburbs um, here in Bozeman as well as yes so the northeast section which is basically Main Street just to the north of Main Street is the northeast neighborhood Nina um, and it's going to be very contemporary it's going to be your condos they are very pride or uh, prideful and proud of that area so behind us these are your five to eight thousand square foot houses with giant shops um, you know a couple acres and you're just minutes from downtown Bozeman so definitely a lot of different styles number four thing you got to know is the brewskis I absolutely love my beers and there's over 55 breweries here right in the bozeman area not including anything um, to the east or west and they do a good job with the distributors of bringing in beers from idaho from oregon and to these grocery stores in fact you were kind of saying a while back of you were surprised how many different beers were in just like a gas station right just a regular gas station you yeah. walk into is like a craft brewery yeah. i mean they have that you know they'll have a fifteen dollar beer at, at a gas station, <laughs> you know, and you're looking at it like everywhere here it's a very beer oriented location. They source a lot of the materials to make the yep. beers right here in the valley. So a lot of these beers, everything that comes that goes into the beers right here from the the valley. You've got your your huckleberry beers and all kinds of different seasonal Hux. beers. So. That, that's a pretty neat thing. A lot of places will have breweries, but they don't source all the materials, you know, and the ingredients yeah. from the local area. And that's just the vibe here. I mean, people love just the outdoors, the hiking, and that's what we do as a family. And you get up and you cruise around, but you reward yourself afterward by going and hitting a family-friendly brewery. Getting They always have, like, some of the best food, I always feel, the breweries. Um, and that's just the vibe. They have a lot of distilleries, a lot of wine joints, you know, so really any of that flavor, um, it's that's really the culture that's been brought around here. So... Number three, once you hit into the traffic. There isn't any, ever. <laughs> for a Floridian, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There isn't any traffic. Well, I'm not actually Floridian, but true, I, true, I, I true. moved here from Florida. But uh, the thing is that, you know, so traffic, the average commute time here is 13 minutes. Right. To the average work commute. So, you know, you're not really ever going to run into traffic. Um, if they're doing road work or something like that or plowing the road, maybe. Mm -hmm. Other than that, pretty much anywhere you want to go in Bozeman or around even Bozeman, you could just go there. You don't have to think about, you know, I, I'm used to looking and seeing, okay, what's the traffic at this time? I need to plan to get yep. there by this time. You don't have to do any of that. If you want to go somewhere, you just go there. Yeah, and just always remember, I mean, these smaller towns here, there's I-90. So it goes from Washington coast out to New York. So, I mean, right. it's one freeway here. Um, and what you're going to see is little highway, you know, Main Street of Bozeman 
if you head straight west on Main Street, it's going to run you right into the Madison River in like 30 minutes. So I mean, that's kind of your highway running east-west. You have the freeway, which is 90. Um, but the traffic for uh, you know for us, there's 50,000 people here. There wasn't that you know just five, 10 years ago. And so right. some of the smaller roads and neighborhoods, you know, we're seeing backups. But most people moving here, it's yeah, like like you said, it's just it's really non-existent. Um, and, and that's a good point about the the uh, the road system. You know, you've got on one end, you've got Jackrabbit, you've got 90. You know, on the back side, you've got 19th. And so the thing is that what that does is it makes it and there's a great grid. Right. So anywhere you want to go in Bozeman, a lot of places, if you take the wrong turn, you're going to end up way, well away from where you need to go. In Bozeman, there's a tremendous grid. So if you miss your turn, just turn on the next road. You'll be able to get there. Be right back. So number two, the life here of fishing is going to be fly fishing. So just out to the west of us, Three Forks, Montana. Um, you obviously got Jefferson, Madison, and the Gallatin River. So the Gallatin and the uh, Madison feed right into here. Like I said, the Madison's probably the most world renowned. We love, you know, obviously the rainbow fishing is amazing, but the brown trouts are what we go after. The brownies are huge, um, but there's a lot of fly fishing guides here. And just, you know, you will go down Main Street, all the hotels and stuff. Every single morning, you're going to see people coming out with all their fly fishing gear. They're going to hit these rivers. So. It's really a way of life here. You drive down any of these roads and you're going to see drift boats in people's driveways. Um, everywhere. It's everywhere. A, it's a mecca. This yep. is a fly fishing yep. mecca. I mean, if you're into fly fishing, uh, you know, you wouldn't think about it, yep. you know, because you think Bozeman, you think skiing, ski yep. resorts, hunting. Everywhere. But I will tell you that fly fishing, I mean, the Sims, yep. you know, that big uh, Love my fly Sims fishing waiters. company. Yep. Yeah, they, they're here. This is their headquarters. Um, and it's here for a reason because this is really a mecca of fly fishing and you you won't run out of places to go. And they actually have signs, right. a lot of different places telling you if you're new to fly fishing, where to stop and get out, keep your fly rod with you. You can jump out and fly fish anywhere. It's as close as downtown Bozeman. I yeah. mean, uh, the it's a little bit tougher there. Um, but yes, I mean, 20, 30 minutes removed to the west, you do hit the Madison and it's just, there is fly fishing. And, and the cool thing is, East or west, you're going to have, you know, Yellowstone rivers you you have. I mean, Livingston is just out to the east of us, but you yeah. can head west to Missoula, hit the Clark Fork, go to North Idaho and hit the St. Joe and hit the Coeur d'Alene River. So you are just right in the Meccas. You can head up north, you know, Helena's all the way up to Kalispell. I just, I love it all, but fly fishing is definitely live here. But let's get into the number one thing they need to know. Um, we're blowing up here. So the yeah. number one thing, let's talk about, you know, the housing market and what's happening. It's crazy. I mean, yeah. the thing is that in a lot of areas, you know, people have to move to certain areas because there there are a lot of jobs in yeah. certain areas. So the, the housing demand is driven by people, you know, let's say have to move to Silicon Valley because of the job, whatever. The interesting thing about Bozeman is it's driven by the fact that people want to live here. Yep. Um, they genuinely, you know, they, they pick Bozeman before they pick a job yep. because the reality is there is no place on earth. In fact, that's why it's called the last best place. There's no place on earth like this. You know, you're talking um, every outdoor activity. Yep. I mean, if you're, if you're a water skier, Great. If you're a snow skier, if you're a hunter, if you're a fisherman, yep. um, anything that you want to do here is here. So the housing market is driven by the fact that people just want to live here. And so when you see that um, as being the, the the goal then of people just wanting to live here, of course, you're going to see prices just really move. And right now, you know, you've got companies like Oracle and, and top companies, yeah. you know, yep. coming here. Uh, you know, this is a... Uh, a huge area for you know the job market there is a tremendous job market they pay you know they pay huge money just at the walmart yep. you know and so what that does to the housing market is it's made it so you know you're looking at a house that comes on the market four to six hundred is going to maybe be on for a few Gee, hours yep. um if that maybe a day and so then you know you get up over 600 then you could see 30 to 40 days on the market depending on the house but I mean, if it's brand new construction, like right now, I just looked yesterday, we had 13 houses in the entire MLS. That's we got crazy. two MLS systems here. 13 new yep. fa new 2020 houses on the MLS. That's just, that's ridiculously low. Yeah. And that's at all prices. You know, that's not a price point. That's just every single price point. So if you're looking for um, for something, then you, you just need to be prepared, you know, to maybe have a little letter written saying, you know, 
uh, a little bit about yourself and why you want to move to Bozeman, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Because the reality is people here are very welcoming. They really do like people from out of the area, the majority of them. And it's not like your traditional small town, you know, feel where, hey, what are you doing here? Yeah. It's 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 sort of a, a big small town. Well, we understand you know? it's driving the economy. So. Right, right. Uh, but that's the one thing. We don't want to scare you. But yes, so a lot of the reasons we do these videos, we understand so many people are moving here. So you get a good feel. You're not coming into it blind. Secondly... Yes, the market's moving fast, but that's what we have, you know, become as the relocation specialist because right. sometimes a listing agent around here is going to see a relocation client and be like, no, they're relocating here. Maybe they're coming, maybe they're not. Uh, their offer is not as strong as somebody local. That's what we've been able to do, you know, working with local lenders or the abilities for us to go in um, and make sure that, you know, our offer is the strongest offer. We're getting them accepted um, at a very high rate as well. So we want you to have that partnership because people call us and be like, hey, we're, we're interested in this house, um, you know, and we'd love to talk to you. We're like, well, it just went pending like three hours ago. And they're like, it just went live. So yeah, um, and, that, and that's a good point yeah. about the listing agent, because the listing Working agent is big. Yeah, we yeah, call them. Yeah. And the thing is that they if you contact the listing agent, they're going to know you're wanting to buy that property sight unseen. Yep. And it's hard to fly here for every new house that comes yep. on the market. The great thing for us is we're going to go and show, show that it. house to you Video. virtually. Yep. Um, we've got the top cameras, the top virtual reality platforms. We can go in the house together on a virtual conference and show you the house. So that is something, you know, that you've seen the house. Whereas mm -hmm. if you go directly to the listing agent, you're going to be disregarded because they've had too many people right. cancel uh, after they get under contract in that period. With a market like this. Yeah, with a market like this, um, you really got to have somebody that, that's looking out for you and that's who we are. Yeah. And so, um, Another big factor of moving here is your lifestyle, your location, your desire. So it is, you know, it's a small little town still, but it, it is yep. very diverse and it's living. So that's what we help you do. We don't want you moving to the wrong spot. So the only way that we can find you and place you in your perfect spot is you got to reach out. You got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Uh, days, nights, weekends, we got your back when moving to Bozeman, Montana. So until the next video, guys, we'll catch you later.